from one Blue Jays way in Toronto. Welcome to Rogers Center. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the Iowa Cubs taking on the Buffalo Bisons. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set. And starting this one is Bowden Francis. And singing a special day for him. He's making his major league debut here. Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working. But it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Harold Ramirez at the dish. The pitch. That one drilled left field. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. Takes the turn. He's digging for second, and he pulls in with a double for his first hit of the year. Batting third, the second baseman. Nick Here's Nick Madrigal. Madrigal. Pitch misses there. Now two balls and a strike. Ramirez, the runner at second with one away. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And just foul. Squibbed out in front of the plate. To first, and he's out. And let's take a look at the lineup. Their opponent on the mound today does run into some trouble finding the strike zone at times. So, Singy, I got to figure part of the plan, be patient, be selective today. Yeah, you know coming in, regardless of, you know, what that first inning is going to look like, you know his history. You don't want to help him out. You've got to be patient and make sure that when you attack, that it's a pitch that you can do some damage with. Otherwise, just build up some traffic on the base pass push across some easy runs, and perhaps get into some of those gap arms in the bullpen. Nope. Next offering is down low. Down. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Bottom of the first. And today's starter, Advert Alzola. Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. Bottom of the first, and now the first baseman, Goske Kato. Next one is off the play, and a count two and one. Next one misses, and the count is three and one. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Three, two. Up the middle. That's a base hit. Batting second, 
Here's Jordan Groshans. And the righty deals. Going to count one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one gone. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Alzelay with a move to first. Coteau back in on a dive. Two two. We got three balls and two strikes. And ball four to a board. First and second, one out. Alejandro Kirk, the next to hit. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. His first homer of the year, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 3-0. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Brock Lundquist getting ready to hit. But why to kick the pitch? And that one wrapped foul. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. That one is absolutely belted. Can't get there. Should be extra bases. Fires the second too late in the second with a double, and that was hard hit. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Chavez Young. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. He dives, but he can't make the catch. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. And next is the designated hitter, Nathan Lukes. And the pitch. In the dirt, blocked. On the ground. Oh, great grab on the dive. On the money, nice play. That was an impressive diving stop. Singy, let's dive into the numbers. Stetcast the symbol. Yeah, Boog, a really good effort just to get his glove to the ball. He found a way to do it and just produce a strong throw as well. So that right there is a great play all the way around. Just really smooth. Here's a speed threat. Number 25. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Ramirez makes the catch, and that'll do it. 
Back here at Rogers Center. Second inning set to go. Here's David Bodie. The Cubs in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. So now one and two. He's already pitching with a four nothing lead, so we should see him be aggressive. Fill up the strike zone. Don't issue free passes. Got him. Now one away. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Yeah, the batter down. Hey. Nelson Velasquez. The count is one and two. And it's even up. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. The pitch. Off the mark there. Three and two down. Line, and that's a base hit. Now he'll turn for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. You got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. And here's the first baseman, Alfonso Rivas. Here comes a pitch. Fought off foul. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Up the middle. Sneaks through. Base hit. Velasquez around third. He will score. It's 4-1. Picks himself up in RBI. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. One down. And now Sergio Alcantara. Next offering is foul back. And a foul ball, third base side. Rivas at first, one gone. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle finding the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. Now it's Alexander Canario. Next pitch, not close, up high. At the belt and fires. Out to short. Groshans. Off balance feed. There's one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 4-1. Back now in Toronto, bottom of the second. Now at the plate, Josh Palacios. The 1-1. One, one. 
And fouled off. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. And a one, two. In the air on the infield. Rebus drifts towards it. And a quick out number one. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried now to do batting. a little bit too First much. Baseball. Sometimes those eyes can get no really fair. big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. So the lineup flips over. Gosuke Kato now at the plate. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Two balls, one strike, the count. That one in for a strike, two and two. Line drive to short and caught. Clearly stole a base hit right there. Excellent job. Great athleticism by the shortstop to make that leaping catch to bring it down. It was a live drive headed for the outfield. Next to hit, Jordan Groshans. Here's a 1-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The wind of the pitch stays alive this batter has to understand his job is to get on base however he can if he gets hit by a pitch if he walks maybe even singles but you want to get the heart of the order up to the plate that one misses in the dirt And he hits a ground ball right side and foul ball. The 2 2. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Here's the third baseman, Chase Strump. Close, but called a ball. And it's two and one. One fouled off, two and two. Next offering misses, and the count's full. Straighten him up a little bit. Kicks and fires. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. So digging in, Harold Ramirez doubled his first time up. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. 2-2. Two -two. Next offering misses down and away. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Strump aboard here at first with nobody out. Swings here and blasts one left field. That's back there. And it's gone. He made him pay for that one, and they inch closer. It's 4-3.
When you have a team that hits home runs at such a high rate, they can get back in the ball game so quickly. That's why that leadoff walk was extremely costly. So up next, Nick Madrigal. The wind and the pitch. In the air, out towards right center. Young racing over to make the catch. Now batting, the catcher, John Hicks. Now it's John Hicks. That's out to center field. Palacios settles underneath it, squeezes it, and there's two down. Now batter, the designated hitter, David Bodie. Now it's going to be David Bodie. The 1-1. One -one. Next offering is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. The 2 1. And another ball. Bodie checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. No swing. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. And a 1-1. And that one pulled foul. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. One, two now. That misses off the outside edge. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Two, two now. Swings and misses. Good job of damage control right there, but not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Bottom of the inning, now the third baseman, Kevin Biggio. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And the there's bat. one down. The catcher, Alejandro. Here's the catcher to hit, Alejandro Kirk. He's already homered here in this one. The 1-1. One -one. Edge of the zone, call the strike. One and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Brock Lundquist digs in now. Back to work. 3-2 now. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Boom, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. The 1-1. One -one. And there's a ball. Two balls, one strike. Two one now. Pitch misses, and now three and one. 
First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. So now two on and two outs. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. So two on with two away. And now the DH, Nathan Lutz, grounded out his first time. The pitch hit weakly on the ground. On the run, sends it over to first, and that will end the inning. Welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Alfonso Rebounds. Is a one one. Ah. One ball, two strikes, account. Popped up left side. Biggio puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. Oh, that's what he's looking for with the fastball above the zone. A swing and miss or weak contact. And now the shortstop, Sergio Alcantara. And the pitch. And down on strikes. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Two outs, base is empty. And now the center fielder, Alexander Canario. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two down, nobody on. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Drops for a hit, he couldn't run it down. The bat, the third base. Chase Strump, the next to hit. And he walked him. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. So two down now, and here is Harold Ramirez. Here's a 1-1. He can get through this one. Put up a zero. This will help in his outings to come. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Next offering is way upstairs. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats. And the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. This to center field, Palacios under it. He's got it, and the inning is over. And welcome back. And stepping in is the speedy number 25. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next pitch is downstairs. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Strike two. Activity in the bullpen. Michael Rucker appears to be getting loose. Stays alive. Ah. 
swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really now like to punch out better when they're better. on the mound because yeah. if they get on, just the distraction oh, that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter. And that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence and it's a multi-run home run. Here's the center fielder, Josh Palacios. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one in the dirt. Come back to the mound. Sneaks through. Base hit. Oh, back in trouble, Boog, and it's just been like this for him most of the game. They've been all over him since his first pitch, and I think he's got a very short leash right now. Really needs to lock it down here. So the batting order turns over. Now, Gosuke Kato. Alzali throws over. Palacios gets back easily. Left-hand batter waits. And there's a foul ball. Three, two now. On the ground, left side, six. To second, pulls him off the bag. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Well, every double play turn starts with getting one, and even though these guys work on these plays during batting practice over and over again, sometimes in game speed, you can still mess it up. Could have been two outs. Instead, they get nothing. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Adbert Alzala, done for the afternoon, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. The new pitcher in the game, Michael Rucker. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Now it's the shortstop, Jordan Groshans. Two and one now. That misses the zone. Three and one now. Not the easiest thing. When you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a ball popped up. And the infield fly rule call. The third base so first and second with two outs. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. Two outs. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. High fly ball out to center field. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll end the inning. Pitcher on here, Jeremy Beasley, and he'll work on holding this lead. Back here at Rogers Center, here's the second baseman, Nick Madrigal. And he drops it down the third baseline. Biggio. And he beats it. He's safe. This was the perfect spot to drop the bunt for a hit. I mean, he used his bat as a tool up there to direct the ball exactly where he wanted it to go and look smooth doing it at the same time. Really well done. And the defense right there stood no chance.
John Hicks will hit next. Swing and a miss. And it's two and two. The 2-2. Two -two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Got him looking. And one out now. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Now it's the DH, David Bodie. Here's a one-two. Stays alive. The one-two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And now two gone. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So... They haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And here is Nelson Velasquez. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. He sends it out of here. His first homer of the year, it's 5-4. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. And yeah, the batter now, Alfonso Rivas, one for two. The next offering misses. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. And down on strikes he goes. That ends the frame. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Back now in Toronto. Here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. 1-1 one, one now. That one hooked foul. And the right hater deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next right, offering down, down, down low two. and in the dirt. On the ground, right side. Madrigal on to first. One up, one down. So digging in, Brock Lundquist. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. And that one is going to go. A solo shot, and this game is tied. It's 5-5. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one.
Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Now it's the right fielder, Chavez Young. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Fires across the diamond, and they get the out. Two outs, base is empty. Now here is Nathan Lutz. The wind of the pitch. Lifted in the air, out to left. Ramirez settles under this one. He's got it. And that is out number three. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. All even at five apiece. Back here at the ballpark, and now Sergio Alcantara. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. And he deals. Stays alive. That hits the dirt. Counts full three and two. Movement in the bullpen. Joe Biagini preparing to come on if needed. Castro getting loose as well. And here it comes. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Second walk of the game for him. And he's been really patient at the play. A game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Go ahead, run on base. And now the center fielder, Alexander Canario. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And here is Chase Strump. Alcantara over at first with one away. The next pitch misses, and the count's full. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And this one could be extra bases. Alcantara headed for the plate. He scores and they have the lead. Six to five. Not in time. He's safe. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Joe Biagini will take over here. He's got a runner on third to deal with. So up next, Harold Ramirez. The pitch. A little bit low. One away with a runner at third. Out to center. Palacios coming in on it. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. Runner tags for home. And they put the tag on him. That's the third out inning over. But they do get on the board in the inning on this run scoring triple. It's now 6-5.
Welcome back. Well, we go bottom six, leading off number 25. And a 1 1. Late that time, and it's strike two. Action in the pen down there. Michael Gibbons getting loose out there. Wick, a left hander, also throwing. That misses. Two and two. That's ripped. Base hit. The back. The center field. And now, Josh Palacios. And that one in the air center field. That's back. Holds it in on the warning track. Now batting the first baseman. Yosuke. And now here is Gosuke Kato. One for three. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Left hand hitter waits. Got him. And two away now. Now the number two hitter, Jordan Groshans. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and that is that. And welcome back. Now here is Nick Madrigal. And a pitch. Swung on, looped into center. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Now batter, the catcher, John Hicks. So now it's the four-hole hitter, John Hicks. Kicks and deals. Right side. And that one handled. Gathers and throws to first. And two away to start the seven. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Next is the designated hitter, David Bodie. The 1 1. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Third out. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the third baseman, Kevin Biggio. Looking to get the tying run on base. That one inside. And now three and one. The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. And the tying run is on base. 
Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. No outs, runner at first. And here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. He's already homered in this game. And a pitch. And now the count is even. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Biggio gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next one misses, and it's three and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Now that the left fielder. Brad Wick comes on now, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. So digging in, Brock Lundquist. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. And now the lefty. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch on and miss struck him out now two out and he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to digging in Chavez Young a switch hitter batting right puts it in the air out towards left center and he makes the grab. And that is the inning. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Ryan Barucki. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Ready to begin the eighth. And now the right fielder, Nelson Velasquez. Here comes a pitch. That's a ball. Just missed. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Line of the pitch. Bounce to the left side. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. And now the first baseman, Alfonso Rivas. One down, base is empty. And a count one and two. Next offering down in the dirt. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Anthony Kay is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Castro getting cranked up as well. The why to kick the pitch. A swing and a soft liner. Base hit.
Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. Just a simple soft liner in the center field for the knock right there. Maybe a little bit fooled by the pitch, but he did a good job of staying through it, and that allowed him to fight it off and just get enough behind it. Stepping in, Sergio Alcantara. Foul ball. Rivas stands at first with one out. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup, and there's two away. Here's the center fielder, Alexander Canario. The pitch. Squirts away a little bit. And the pitch. That one gets down for a hit. And that turns the lineup over. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Yeah, the batter now, Chase Strum. And that one fouled off. The other way. Young makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at Rogers Center, and now the DH, Nathan Lukes. A little surprised we don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty-lefty matchup. Next pitch has popped up. Alcantara moving under it. Makes the grab. One away. Now batting. Number 25. New pitcher on now. Jonathan Holder. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Number 52. Jonathan Holder. And now, number 25. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Kicks and fires. And it is two and one. Activity in the bullpen. Rowan Wick, the closer of the staff, is getting loose to finish this one off. Yardley warming up as well. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Makes the grab for the second out. Now the seven so two down now, and here is Josh Palacios. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. Next offering misses, and the count is two and two. And the two two. He swings and fouls one off. Next offering is downstairs. Ooh. 
in the air, pretty deep out to center field. Canario going back, back some more, makes the catch in and over. We're back, it's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Anthony Castro. Back now in Toronto, all set to start the ninth in this one at the play. Harold Ramirez. The 3-1. That one pushed foul. Fouled off. He was late. And a payoff pitch. And that's ball four. You get a walk. And you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, Booth. Now it's the second baseman, the Nick second Madrigal. Baseman. Nick Madrigal. And the pitch. Just misses without one. Kind of break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. And there's ball four. That's a nice at bat and a great take on 3 2. Probably could have gone either way in that spot around the knees. John Hicks now at the plate. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Pulls that one foul. Broken bat, and it's popped up. David Bodie digs in now. At the belt and fires. That's ball two. And now it's even up. It's been a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That's the second out. So up next, Nelson Velasquez. Can't forget the two-run shot he launched out of here in the fifth. Yeah, one of the biggest swings of the game, Boog, as he looks to make even more of an impact in this at-bat right here. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Next pitch is inside. Three and one. Two outs. And now maybe extra bases. One run across. Magical. Rounds third headed for the plate. He scores as well. It's eight to five. Big at bat to pad their lead up to three. Nice line drive to the full side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. The 
left-hander on now, Anthony Kay. He'll try to strand the runner at second. Anthony Kay. Man at second here with two away. And here's the first baseman, Alfonso Rivas. 3-1 is on the way. Swing and a ball popped up. Lundquist gliding to his right. Makes a nice running catch. And that's the third out. But they'll pick up a couple runs here. Both coming on this two-run double. It's now an 8-5 ball game. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Rowan Wick. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Back here at the ballpark, now it's going to be Goske Kato. Next offering is foul back. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with the yeah, high man. fastball and then oh, bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Jordan Groshans getting ready to hit. And the right-hander deals. Popped up. Puts it away for the out. The third baseman, number eight, Kevin Biggio. And now, Kevin Biggio. Next one is off the plate. Two and one. The pitch and that one fouled off Got him. And that'll do it. And this one ends with the score 8 to 5 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Our final line score, first for the victorious Iowa Cubs, eight runs on 11 hits, one error, they left 10 men on base. For the Bisons, five runs, seven hits, no errors, they left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 45 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon, and we remind you to please drive home safely.